Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a success steps or a success ladder infographic slide. And this is how uh, the slide looks. When I click, it will show you the first step which is the idea and then it will give you, you can add some details to it. That is the stage one. And then you got the second step which is the business and you can add the details. Then the investment. And the last is the success and then the door is open so this is the four stage success uh, slide uh, if you want you can make it a uh, three steps also this is step one step two step three and then the door will show you here so let's see how to create this beautiful infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides and right mouse click go to format background and I'm going to select a dark background and later on we can change this then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle in the bottom maybe this much size and make sure that this is uh, center aligned and make it no outline and I'm going to give the color as a white color and then press Control D to duplicate it and I'm just going to cut this part from the left and right side for that I'm going to go to insert shapes select a right triangle and draw the triangle I'll just give some different color so that it will be easy and make it no outline also and here you can rotate flip vertical so I'm just going to cut this much and you have to make sure that this is properly aligned zoom out press ctrl D to duplicate and bring it other side and again rotate I'll say flip horizontal and make sure that this is properly aligned now I'm going to select the rectangle first and then the right triangles go to format merge shapes you have to select a subtract then you will end up with this shape and remember that this merge shape options is available from office 2010 but 2010 you need to enable that one but 2013 onwards it is available and I'm using the version which is office 365 and here I'm just going to give a, a somewhat darker shade and just put it here exactly on top and you can simply reduce the size so you can see here my first step is ready now and I can give some gradient fill also here for example I will select the rectangle go to format shape and I will just say gradient fill I will make it only two stops here the stop I will give somewhat a dark color gray and here let it be white and you can change the direction of this I want the gray to be on top and here also you can just give a darker here one more darker all right you can see here it looks a perfect uh, shape of the step now then I can just simply copy and make it the second step now I can just select this press ctrl G to group it and I will just duplicate it by pressing ctrl D and I'll just uh, place it here for this I'm just going to give a different color so I'm just going to select this option and I'm going to give some darker color here or different color for example uh, orange here also I'm just going to select the same color and here a little bit lighter color
and the same thing goes here also I'll just give a dark color here or I can just give the same gradient here and then I'll select this reduce the size a little bit and exactly place it here all right so you've got this shape now I'm just going to select all press ctrl G to group it and ctrl D to duplicate and reduce the size all right so you have to just make sure that this is properly aligned and you can reduce the size also so this is my second step second step again I can select this color and I can select a different gradient for for example maybe I will select a kind of green dark green and somewhat light green Alright, so maybe these colors look different. I'll select this color. The same thing goes here. I'll just select this one and give the same color here. One is dark. Okay. And then again, I'm selecting this, press Ctrl D and put it here. Again, reduce the size. You want three steps or four steps, you can just make it. So here I'm going to make it three steps only. If you want to add one more step, you have to just reduce the size. And then again, change this color. Maybe I'm just going to select some blue color combination I'll say dark blue here and then some light blue and here also I'll just select the light blue color and the same thing goes here also dark blue and then light blue color okay you can see here our steps are ready now the next step is to make the door for that go to insert shapes add a rectangle again draw the rectangle and make sure that that is aligned perfectly for example I'll just and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can make it as a white and zoom out and then you can add the doors to add the doors I can just simply go insert shapes either I can use uh, select this particular uh, which is called the trapezoid for the doors I'll just select this rotate it to left 90 degrees you can add one door here example this one should be this side and I'm going to use some dark color for this make it no outline I'll reduce the size a little bit So this is one door, press Ctrl D and rotate it. I will just say flip horizontal and place it the other side. Make sure that this is properly aligned. So you have got the, the door also and 
you can give two different shades at the background i'm going to select one more rectangle till the steps shape outline make it no outline and you can give a gradient fill so here i'm just going to give some darker colors here maybe a dark first and then a light color and somewhat light color and then you can just say send to back and shape outline make it no outline i will just disable the grid lines so you can see here it will show you something like this or you can adjust it also all right and then if you want you can add some background like i have just added some uh, the the png formats here you can just add it now let's add the text here to add the text go to insert text box type your text here i'll just say this is the step one and give the same color which is the orange increase the size make it center aligned and make sure that this is center aligned properly so this is step one then this will be the step two with green color and then you got the step three so you can just actually add your text here and then here i'll just select this control d bring the other side and you can give more details here so step one i'll just reduce the size and add some detailed text here equals lorem it will give me some latin text i will select this text give a lighter color and reduce the size so this is my step one which is I will write a line so this is my step one this also I can make it a right aligned make it more closer and group it and control D duplicate it so this will be step three with blue color and here i'll just select this this will be the step two and i will right align sorry left align this and this will be the step two with green color all right so we have almost done and if you want to add any text here you can add some text so let's do the animation now so it's time to do the animation for that i'll just close the format background and then i'll just select this text and the the first step and i will press ctrl g to group it then this i will group it and then this i will group it go to animations enable the animation pane first select this step just say wipe so wipe from the bottom and then this text should come this text also i can just make it a maybe a fly in fly in so this is the first text it should happen after previous then using the animation painter i'll select the first step click on animation painter 
and then click on second step so this is a second animation and this I'll select animation painter and I will put to the step 2 so the step 2 will come then again animation painter for the third step and then again I'll select this and I will click on step 3 so if you want from left you can just say from left also it will come so let's see how it looks in the slideshow okay so when I click the first step will come the text then the second step the text and then the third step and the text and for the door also you can do the animation so for the door animation I'll select this rectangle and the trapezoid press ctrl G to group it and just say wipe from the bottom so that will be so if I play it will show you the first step the second step the third step and then the door will appear there so that's it from me friends thank you very much that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye